What's up, movie lovers? It is Chase Spice Reviews, and I'm just gonna get all this info ready for this review because we got a new series starting. We get, we're starting the Friday the 13th series. And I only own the first eight parts right now. So, we're starting off with the first Friday the 13th. I'm just getting all my stuff ready here. And Friday the 13th is a slasher movie that came out in 1980 and it was directed by Sean S. Cunningham and written by Victor Miller. And it stars Betsy Palmer, Adrian King, Harry Crosby, Laura, Laurie Bartram, Bartram, Kevin Bacon, Gene, I don't even know how to say that name, whatever. Um, and if you're wondering, the Rotten Tomatoes for it is 61%, so it's fresh now, it used to be rotten. Um, yeah, so basically the backstory on this. I don't even I don't even need to know any of this. Alright, I basically know it. So Halloween came out. Halloween is a super influential slasher movie. And there was this guy Sean S. Cunningham. And then he was like, Hey, I wanna rip off Halloween. That's actually how Friday the thirteenth came. He saw how much money Halloween made and he realized, I, I wanna make a movie like that and make money. So really, the one of the longest running horror franchises was a ripoff in the beginning, and he like came up with this really cool. I, he came up with a title. It was Friday the Thirteenth, and then he put like an ad in the newspaper where it was like crashing through a glass panel, which is what the opening credits are for the movie. And then he didn't know what the plot was, though. So there was. The producer called him and was like, hey, this movie looks cool, what's it about? And then he was like, I don't know. So then he got Victor Miller, and Victor Miller wrote the script. They came up with this general idea, and that's basically how the movie came to be. So, obviously what the movie's about is there's summer camp called Camp Crystal Lake. A bunch of bad things happened. There was like a bunch of murders and stuff that happened there. So the camp's been shut down for a long time, and then it is about to reopen and there's this group of teenagers and they're like setting up the camp and then they all start kill getting killed off one by one by an unseen killer and I'm not going to spoil who the killer is but it's not Jason if you've seen Scream you know that so my thoughts on the original Friday the 13th it is it's a very good slash movie I don't know if it's a good movie, but it's a good slasher movie. Um, I like how simple it is. You know, it's just like kids getting killed in a summer camp. It's got some really good atmosphere with like the summer camp feeling. The lake's like super big and clear, so it actually looks like Crystal Lake. It's not like the sequels where it's like super muddy. Um, and like the woods feeling. And there is some scenes that are like a little creepy. The movie's never really, like, scary. Um, you know, it has, like, typical jump scares and stuff. But that's just how slash movies are. Um, but there is, like, actual atmosphere. And the characters, they're, they're not really well-developed at all. Like, I remember their names. I just, there's not a lot to them. Like, the final girl, Alice. She's okay. You don't really learn a lot about her, though. She's not that well developed, and then there's this one kid named Ned. All that he really is known for is that he likes this one girl, and he like makes a lot of jokes. And half of the characters have no personality, so that's a big flaw. Well, they feel like real people, but you don't get to know them enough. But you still feel kind of bad when they die. Like there's decent character moments, like. The one girl talking about the dream that she had about thunderstorms. It's like, that's okay. And, um, yeah. The, but basically, what this movie's known for is the amazing kills. Yes, the kills are very good. There's, there's three very good ones, and I don't want to spoil them if you haven't seen the movie. But they're very iconic. Kevin Bacon's kill is probably the best. Um, but... One of my negatives, I'm just gonna say it right now, I don't 
really have a script anymore for this. I don't want to be scripted. I want to feel natural. Like, hey, I just watched a movie. This is what I think. That's what I want my reviews to be like. So, those three kills, there's three kills that are really good. You get to see them fully. And they had good, they had decent suspense leading up to them. Or it was just like out of nowhere, like shock, really good. But half of them are like just slit throats, and that's it, and it's boring. And half of them are off screen. I mean, yeah, like with Halloween, you don't see a lot of deaths. And it's fine if Friday the 13th, which later on, Friday the 13th. Well, even with this one, they're known for, like, big, brutal, bloody kills. But it's fine to have a couple off-screen. As long as you show the bodies after. But it's just not as scary. Because this is, like, a very low-budget movie. It's not... Well, it has a higher budget than the original Halloween, actually. But... I don't know. It's just, I wish that... A little less deaths would be off screen because half of them are off screen, and then there's like three those three really good ones. And the killer, so not spoiling who they are, is amazing. Like the person who portrayed them, did such a good job. And if you look at their interviews, they didn't even want to do it. They thought the movie was really dumb. They just wanted to do it to get enough money to buy a new car. But they respected the material. They like started studying it the script and what kind of character the killer would be and they were really creepy and probably the scariest part of the movie maybe scarier than Jason um and the ending is really good like the very ending it's the big jump scare at the end it was really good but one of my main problems besides the characters is the third act like Friday the 13th movies are known for like the big chase scenes where the girls keeps hitting Jason and it's like the big chase scene it's kind of a fight but it was really lame like all the moves that happened I'm just sitting there face palm like why are you doing these dumb moves if you have this weapon do this and not just hit him with it stuff like that and then there is some scenes that are filler, like, I mean, some of it is fun, like, when the teenagers are just hanging out doing whatever, it's fun to watch, but there's two scenes in the third act that happen right after each other, they show the entire thing, like, the final girl, Alice, she's making coffee, you don't need to show the entire process of her making coffee, like, that's not, that's not very useful, I'm just gonna adjust my camera here, I think this is better, I don't know, but yeah, and there's a lot of dumb moments, you know, like, the killer, it's kind of like a whodunit story, because you're trying to figure out who the killer is, and some of the clues that they give are just really dumb, well, one of the clues that they give is very dumb, without spoiling what it is, and then there's moments where, I mean, it's a horror movie, so you're obviously like, why are you doing this? And it's got a car, the car won't start, and cliche and stuff like that. I mean, this, this movie could have started some of those cliches, like apparently it started the prankster type character in slasher movie, or it's credited that way because there wasn't a character like that in Halloween, or Black Christmas. Um, yeah, overall, the original Friday the 13th is very good, suspenseful, fun, entertaining movie that has some really dumb moments and the characters aren't really well developed. So overall, I would give Friday the 13th 1980 a 9 out of 10. It's very good, but there's just a few flaws. So, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing, you know what, I'm going to get a DVD set here, so that's part one. I mean, they don't have disc art or anything, so you can't tell, but tomorrow I'm going to be doing part two, and then part three, four, you know, all the way from today, which is July 1st to the 12th. 
so yeah, that's gonna be it. Um, tell me down in the comments below if you've seen Friday the 13th. What do you think about it? Um, give this video a like if you want. Do whatever you want. So, this is Jay Spice Reviews, and I'm saying bye. Bye.